What's good folks, SAP dude here, another video, another topic from SAP and plan maintenance are real. Today we're gonna take care of BOMs. BOM stands for bill of material and is part of mouse data in plan maintenance, but not only. Alright, let's go. First, the boring definition of BOM. It comprises a list of spare parts of the specific technical object. It can be created for equipment, functional location and materials. These three objects you already know, as we went through equipment, functional locations and materials in the last videos. I guess you know what we're gonna do right now. We jump into practice and practical example. Two hours later, welcome back to Texas Workshop. Today's topic, bill of materials. Let's go, I will show you something. We haven't been there yet, it's the paint room. Alright, let's... Let's find the doors, alright, it's here. Here we go, I'm looking for something specific. I wanted to show you one of the compressors that are used here. But before that, yeah, let's just have a look, alright. This is the other room, but this is the paint, paint room, alright. If I go inside, alright, cool. Okay. So, um, yeah, where, where is the compressor? Ah, it's here. Okay. As you know from the last videos, such compressor is reflected in SAP as an equipment. These compressors are really specific. There are some spare parts which have to be procured regularly and the delivery takes five weeks because they are sent from a small city in Europe, in Poland. Moreover, it's not easy to remember all the crucial spare parts which build this compressor. So it may happen that they forget to order something. We could say, shit, that's bad. It is, but that's an easy job to be done with SAP. So I've mentioned something about the spare parts. To be specific, this air compressor consists of two gaskets, first one from valve plate to head, and the second one from cylinder to valve plate, two air filters, and five O-rings. Of course, there are many more spare parts in this air compressor, but these four are the most crucial ones. This is where bill of materials kicks in. We will build a recipe with ingredients like gaskets, O-rings, etc. Why I mention a recipe and ingredients? Because bill of materials are extensively used also in SAP production planning. Thanks to that, you know which raw materials you have to buy to manufacture your product, you can monitor the demand, the stock and other stuff. In plant maintenance, BOMs are also used, but it's not like in PP, that you will always have them. Moreover, in PM we use specific material type, spare parts, not raw materials, not semi-finished products, etc. Our requirement is clear, to have the list of spare parts for this A compressor in the system and to basically squeeze SAP to its fullest. Let's see one graphic where I will explain you something before we jump into SAP. Quick info from my side. There are three types of BOMs for plant maintenance. You can have an equipment BOM, functional location BOM and material BOM. Let's take our A compressor as an example. We have it created in SAP as an equipment with number ending with 153. We do also have the spare parts in the system. These are materials with ERSA material type. We see gaskets, A filter, or rings. All right. The first type of BOM seems to be the best for this scenario. It means we take this equipment number, enter some transaction, and place all these components, and voila, equipment BOM created. Cool, fair enough. But before we created an SAP, what if I told you that we have 500 of these A compressors in our facility. Of course, we don't, but just try to imagine it. Doesn't mean we have to repeat this activity 500 times only because we have so many A compressors of the same type and with the same spare parts, it would be really dumb, don't you think? That's where material BOM kicks in. Basically, you need a material, in most of the cases type EBO, for maintenance assemblies, and you create a BOM for it the same way as you did for the equipment BOM. The only and the critical difference is that you then take this EBO material and link it with all these 500 equipments in the master data. There is some specific field in equipment master data which allows you to do this linkage. And the last one is functional location BOM. A compressors ain't a functional location, but everything depends. 
Some companies reflect their assets like big machines as function locations because they are not movable and they reflect smaller pieces of these machines as equipment and so on. Never mind, the thing is that BOM for function locations also exists and you can do it in the system. The logic is the same, you enter the function location number and then all the materials. Well, I was talking too much without showing the system shit, so let's fix this and launch SAP. To create equipment BOM, there are some prerequisites. We need the equipment number, the spare parts material numbers and the information about quantities. We meet all these prerequisites, as you may remember from the previous graphics, so I already launched the transaction IB01. Here we enter the equipment number, which is in our case this one. We also enter the plant number for Texas, TX01. And we select the BOM usage for, which is plant maintenance. Now all we have to do is to enter the relevant spare parts here in this table. So in the component column we enter the material numbers of the spare parts and we enter then the quantities and unit of measure. We also have the first column for uh, category which I will explain in a second. So yeah, let's enter all the components here. We have all the four components here, so we have these gaskets, o-rings and eye filters. We also have the quantities here, five pieces of o-rings for example. And we also see this, yeah, this L, which means the components are stock managed. L stands for stock managed component. That's why we have it here. I will now press enter so the description will be visible and we see, yeah all the details. Of course you can set up more things, for instance if you jump to header you can define here um, yeah, what is the base quantity of this BOM and so on. Alright, let's save it and the BOM for this equipment has been created. Now let's create the material BOM. Uh, we need material number first, in our case it will be eBow type uh, so this type of material is very simplified, it doesn't represent a physical object. It's like a collector which groups elements, like spare parts, which are stock managed. So before I create it, another example for material BOM and using EBO material type. Imagine you have some maintenance packages in your plant. By maintenance package you mean 15 screwdrivers, 2 kilos of screws uh, some, of some type, 5 kilos of screws another type and 100 nuts. These packages are not packed in cartons, all these spare parts just lie in the warehouse in containers. That's where you use EBO material as a collector. And let's say you do this for 500 A compressors. So what we do, we enter the transaction CS01, which you see right now on the screen. We have to enter the material number, in our case it will be 142, alright, the plant is Texas, BOM usage for plant maintenance, okay, let's get inside by pressing enter, and basically we do the same thing, we enter the components here as we did for equipment BOM, alright, I can now press enter, and I will save this material BOM, the BOM has been created, here we gotta do another thing, we have to link this material BOM with all the equipment. In our case we have just one compressor, not 500 in the system, but now I will show you how to do it with this one example. All we have to do is to change the equipment master data. To do that we will use IE02 transaction. We enter the comp A compressor equipment number, so it's already there, and I will press enter. Now we have to go to the Structure tab and here there is a field called Construction. So all we have to do is to enter the material number for which we created the material BOM. Alright, let's press Enter. A compressor, parts. That's the description of this material. Alright, and now we save it. The master data has been updated and now the linkage is built. Now you can jump for instance to transaction IH03 where you enter the equipment number and we make sure we have to select this BOM explosion here. I will also uh, select the equipment hierarchy and I will click execute and 
here you see a structure of the a compressor which consists uh, which is linked with this construction with this EBO material here and below the BOM uh, the spare parts that are part of the BOM of this EBO material for the functional location BOM we use the transaction IB11 and the logic is basically the same as it was for equipment BOM we enter the functional location plant and BOM usage and then the components I will not do it right now let's stop here well that was it for this video let me know in the comment section what you think about it subscribe to the channel follow the socials SAP duties on LinkedIn as well so check it out and yeah see you in the next video